Hi, it's Dana. <clears throat> um, I'm going to use a phrase I don't use very often because it feels silly and I don't really like it. And it's not a state I'm in very often, but I am totally freaking out, freaking out. I just got an email from uh, one of the conveners of the place that's bringing me in to talk in December, which some of you know is a gigantic tech company. And it was a PowerPoint template that I swear to you, I have to have four PhDs to begin to understand. And all of a sudden, all of the confidence that I have built up working with Jessica and Laura and getting feedback from so many of you and uh, doing the hard work of creation, all of a sudden, none of that matters. The only thing that matters to me right this minute is that I don't think I can put together a goddamn PowerPoint. And I'm so angry. I feel like technology has left me behind if I was ever in the race to begin with, which I probably wasn't. I feel like if I have to pay someone to do this, the speaking fee that I'm getting is I'm going to lose money to put together this template. I, I mean, the template's not mandatory, but I have gone now into a complete place of insecurity and a certainty that I have nothing of value to say because I don't know how to put it into this PowerPoint template. And I am feeling super vulnerable and panicky. And I did just get my third, my booster. So I think that's also some of what's happening to me because I did not respond particularly well to the first two. But, I guess I am on here because a number of you watched the video that I made over the weekend in and put into the newsletter. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, I want to see the video. Yeah. Sign up for my newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. That's a whole nother topic. And I'm not going to scream about it because that's an unfair displacement of anger and anxiety, but you could sign up for the newsletter and then you could see that kind of stuff because it's actually a great snippet. Thank you to those of you who watched and responded. But I, I did that work. I was just feeling so great about where I was at. And now I'm back to feeling like I am some little imposter unqualified, way behind fraud who's going to show up and reveal how insignificant I am to this room of significant people. And that's all because a template was sent to me that is so tech specific, so absolutely beyond how I think that it feels like a math class to me. And I am sort of doing everything I can not to call them and say, you've made a huge mistake. Let's just, let's just let it go. Find somebody else or fill the hour or do something else. And I'm telling you this because I don't, I don't think most people think that I struggle with things like this. I think most people think that the way I tend to show up is who I am. And how I show up is get out of the way because I'm here. And an enormous part of me is that way. But an, a similar amount I don't know. I worked with a coach last year who told me not to say that I'm equally confident and equally messed up. 
I disagree with her. I am both those things. And I do think they're equal amounts often. And today, my confidence is about 4% of 100%. So I, I just, I'm just here saying this to you because I needed some place to lay this out. I hope that if I rewatch this, I can realize how maybe preposterous this is, how silly I'm being, how irrational I'm being, how much everybody struggles with feeling like they're not enough. But boy, do I not feel like I'm enough right now. And I don't like it. And I know that you don't like it when you feel that way too. So I guess my question for you is what do you do when you think you're not enough? When you want to just say, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I misled you. I thought I could do it and I can't. What do you do when you want to do that? I'd love, I'd love to hear your thoughts because boy, I have the email written to tell them I can't do it and I am not going to send it because I am not going to be bested by a stupid PowerPoint, but it's going to take some thing to talk me down off of this. So I hope you can give me something, I would really appreciate it because I am. Wow. Wow. So here it is. Here's the mess. I told you in a blog post a couple weeks ago, I a lot of what shows up in my world is the A side, the best side, the good stuff. But this is actually what's real. This is the B side. This is the mess. And I am right in the thick of it. So thanks for watching. Please send some thoughts. Please send me some thoughts. I don't want to, I don't want to bail out because of PowerPoint. I got to be better than that, right? What do you do when you feel like this? And if you're a PowerPoint expert, what can I bake you in exchange for some help? <laughs> All right. Thanks. Talk to you soon, I hope. Bye.